Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's episode of Photoshop for Video. Today, we're going to take a look at the refined color range command that's part of Photoshop CS4. We've covered color range in the past. In fact, it's one of my personal favorite selection techniques. But in CS4, it's gotten better. Let's see how. I can go ahead and choose Select Color Range. And you'll notice that there's a new option here called Localized Color Clusters. Now, if we uncheck that, you'll see how it used to work. I'll click here on the red, and let's go ahead and shift drag a little bit to pick up more of the red. And what I want you to notice is that more colors have been selected. Like the red up here in the sign was actually picked up as well. Let's go ahead and click Reset. When we use the localized color clusters, Photoshop is less likely to go outside of where we clicked. Now I'll hold down the Shift key to add a little bit more as I click through here. But essentially what's happening is it's making a selection based on color, but it's also limiting that selection to near where I am actually clicking. So as I pick up more and more color here as we go through, you'll see that the color is limited both based on hue and actual proximity to the click point. There we go. That worked pretty well. I could hold on the Option key if I need to subtract a little bit. Let's just drag through here and get rid of those. Good. Fuzz that out a bit, and I could play with range if I want to limit how much is grabbed, and we'll click OK. In this point, it actually selected everything but. Let's go back to that color range for a second there. And you'll see that's because the invert box was checked. So let's try that again. I'll choose Select Color Range, and we'll click here. Makes an initial selection. Notice the localized color clusters limits that. Let's uncheck the invert box there. It makes it a little easier to see. And as we drag through, holding down the Shift key, we could pick up more colors. That works out well. Got what I want. If I want to subtract up here, I could Option Drag. And we'll fuzz that out a bit and click OK. We can now add an adjustments layer, such as a hue saturation adjustment layer, and tweak the color. Notice there I could change things with a simple slide. In this case, I'm going to keep it red, but I want to punch that color and make it much richer. The problem with the hue saturation adjustment layer is that as we increase saturation, it posterizes. So let's go ahead here and load that selection, but delete that adjustment layer. And instead, add a vibrance adjustment layer, which is also new to CS4. Here we can increase saturation, and notice that more detail is preserved. That looks really good. So now we have a nice, rich red, but it's not too popping, and it's not getting all posterized. So, that's the Select Color Range command, as well as a quick look at the Vibrance Adjustment Layer, which is also new to CS4. My name is Rich Harrington. Thank you for checking out this week's episode of Photoshop for Video. We've got more tutorials over at photoshopforvideo.com, and if you want to see me in online forums, visit me at creativecow.net, where I answer Photoshop questions. Thanks again for joining us.